Hey guys, I'm Kevin King here, and today I'm here with a review of the DLO Hybrid Shell for the Apple iPod Touch 2nd and 3rd generation. I've had this case for quite a while now, and I'm here to do a review on it because I know all the specs and all the good things and bad things about this case. So let's jump right on into it. Okay, so let's take a look at the design of the case. Um, This is a hybrid shell, meaning it has two types of materials. We have this silicone rubberized silicone material and I tested this out for lint. I put it in my pocket, took it off and tried to get as much lint on as possible and it did not attract any lint. I'm really surprised and impressed with the quality of this silicone. It's high, high rubber, much like the um, spec candy shell, but this has something, it's more smooth and I think you'll really like this. Notice it has it all around the edges so when you're slipping your iPod in it will not get your edges scratched which is really nice. Um, in the center, we have this DLO logo with a green um, patch of silicone, that nice silicone there. And it is not behind any plastic or anything. This is pure silicone, so that could bend easily, but not easily because it is that rubberized silicone. And um, up to the lock, the lock and volume buttons are covered. Really nice, guys. Really covered nicely. This does cut, come in a couple different colors. Uh, the only colors I've seen were the black and the green. As you can see, I have the green right there. But the black looks, looks pretty nice. And as you can see, guys, this is a see-through case, which is good in one way and bad in one way. Um, bad meaning all good, go good first. Good meaning it, you can see that awesome iPod look and that awesome, nice, um, shiny iPod look. But the bad thing is... You can see it, and iPods get really scratched, no matter if you have the case on them or what, they will get scratched, and you can see all those scratches, which I was hoping this was going to be white, because it came in white inner lining, but it wasn't. So I'm just going to put the case onto the iPod Touch. Now, I will admit it is so hard to put on. I, It's really hard, guys. What you do is you get the um, volume button rockers first. Put them in the left side where the volume, oh crap, that's bright, um, buttons are, like that, and then you press, <clears throat> ah, you really press, like, oh my god. Yeah, and the thing is, I'm worried about damaging the iPod, because you have to put so much pressure on it, and, ah, oh, it's finally in. But you have to put so much pressure on it that it really feels like you're going to break your iPod. And, um, um, that's one major downside. Like, the biggest downside, like, of it. It probably brings it down, like, two stars out of ten. But, as you can see, when you put it on, it looks very nice, guys. That looks really nice with that nice green inner lining with the nice lay on the table design. It has about a millimeter of lip. And it keeps it so slim, guys. It doesn't add really any bulk. If you're looking for a case that doesn't add any bulk and looks really nice, this is the case to go for. But I'm not yet. i still got to go with the downsides after I get all the good things about it. We noticed this looks really nice. It's see-through. Um, I do have that brush metal look on my iPod, so it um will look different, obviously. It doesn't look all shiny, but... um. As you can see, this DLO kind of covers the Apple logo, and it replaces with the DLO logo. Um, so that's one, I guess, good thing or bad thing. Um, I kind of like having that, you know, Apple logo. Kind of expresses that's an iPod or iPhone. It, yeah, they only, I, I believe they only make it for iPods, but iPod Touch 2G and 3Gs. But anyway, um, it really expresses that's an iPod, and they kind of cover that. But um, anyway, guys, it is really nice. It looks really good. Hard shell case. Um... I think I got all the good things about it. Now I'm here with the downsides. Uh, the downsides is the one big thing is obviously um, taking it off and on. Well, yeah, off tape is really hard to get on off to, but um, on is even harder, I believe. Um, that's one major downside. Um, another downside is um, it specifically tells you not to pull on this little um, flimsy um silicone tiny little flimsy piece because that could tear but they specifically tell you that and i think you'd understand because i wasn't very nice and you know i just was bored so i kind of tugged it on a little while and you know after a little bit of tugging as you can see it kind of got a bubble right there kind of got a little bit of a bubble right there and it's it's kind of hard to press down it's not going to get um down but um once you take it out of the case it kind of goes down and up and down and up it, it's just kind of really annoying but not major something you can note um 
yeah, um, another downside is right here where the silicone lies, um, right over the volume rockers and the, um, sleep wake button, it is rather flimsy, even though it is that really strong, really, um, rubberized silicone, that is really, um, flimsy, like, you might see a little bit of chrome right there, like, that's what happens to me sometimes when I just put it on, you might see a little chrome like that, but, um, not really bad, but that actually is kind of a weak spot for the corners, so, if you, you don't really want to tug on these, because it might get really weak, and, you know, you'll see a lot of chrome like that, and that just doesn't really look good. Um, uh, let's see if I got all the things down, um, yeah, guys, this is overall a pretty solid case, I like it, it's a nice buy, um, the price range is, I believe, well, I picked this up at Radio Shack and Clearance for $5, which you don't even need that, um, I saw this, I believe, at the mall for $12, which is a really good buy, guys. I recommend it for $12, and you can get a DLO's hybrid, I mean hybrid, you can get a DLO's, um, website, which they do sell it for $24, um, 99 I believe, five, $25, which, it's a bit pricey, but, guys, it's a really overall solid case, and, um, I will have DLO's, um, Link in the description down below. And anyway, guys, this is a really solid case. I really do recommend it for um, $25. A bit pricey. Overall, it does come with a screen shield, which, you know, it's a screen shield. It's not the best quality, but not, it's not the worst. Um, anyway, guys, yeah, um, I think I got all the stuff down. Clear case, nice case, hybrid shell, DLO, awesome, guys. Awesome, pretty pretty cool company. Um. They're really got they're really cool guys. They make all pretty cool cases and I will have their link in the description, as I just said. Um yeah guys, that's all I have today. I hope you enjoyed this video and this is iPod Crever King. Um I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.